The NACA five-digit series, uh, similar to the NACA four series or six series or one six series, is automatically generated within OpenVSP based on the equations that define the shape. And the name is automatically created for you, giving you an idea of what it is that you've set. So if you need to recreate some existing NACA 5 series, you use these digits as a guide. So the last two digits here, of course, the thickness to chord ratio in whole percent, so this is 15. The first digit is a multiple of 0.15 in the ideal lift coefficient. So in this case, we have 0.45, that's 3 times 0.15, so our first digit is 3. And the camber location is defined in these two digits here, the second and third digit, as twice whatever the camber location or the location of maximum camber happens to be. In this case, we have 30% aft of the leading edge, so our two digits here are 6 and 0. If I set this to be 0.25 to the quarter chord position, notice how that changes to 50 instead of 60. So if we look closely, just like with the 4 series, we can choose to sharpen or blunt the trailing edge by turning on or off this box. And again, that's just a perpendicular to the camber line representation of a blunt trailing edge if you happen to need it. Again, similar to the 4 series, you're also allowed to invert this airfoil if you want. So that is a bit on the uh, NACA 5-digit series designation and nomenclature and how you can apply that to a cross-section in OpenVSP.